Hai semua, harap semua sihat-sihat saja. Saya tahu um, dah lama saya tak buat video. I think it's almost 3 months now since my last video. And because of a good reason, sebab semester ni memang agak sibuk. I have one of my module yang consume most of my time. As almost every semester, I'll be doing semester in review, which is for this one is semester 6. And also this is a video that basically explains why I don't make any video for the past couple of months. Jadi untuk semester ni saya telah ambil 3 modul. Modul yang pertama dikenal sebagai computer security ataupun penjagaan dan keselamatan komputer. Yang kedua adalah software testing ataupun pengujian perisian. Dan yang ketiga which is satu modul yang menyebabkan saya hilang kebanyakan masa saya which is system design project. Now I'll be going to the first two first sebab yang tu yang macam simple dan saya nak rent sikit tentang uh, modul yang ketiga which is system design project ni seronok sebenarnya tapi the reason I'll, I'll be explaining in, in a second don't worry jadi untuk modul computer security saya belajar tentang asas penjagaan komputer jadi saya belajar tentang jenis-jenis ancaman yang boleh berlaku pada komputer kita dan juga cara untuk kita halang daripada terkena ancaman tu lah cara untuk kita belajar untuk halang daripada kesangan kita kena belajar macam untuk kita serang dahulu sebenarnya so computer security somehow teaches me how to become a hacker so some of the tools that I learned was Wireshark and Map and CAD and also some Kali Linux and stuff so in order to learn about the computer security you need to learn how to attack first and then understanding how the attack works helps you to understand how to actually protects you from being attacked. But all in all, it's all about just understanding ancaman yang boleh berlaku pada komputer anda dan cara untuk kita halang atau elak daripada terkena ancaman itu. Yang kedua, which is software testing. It's a pretty straightforward module. Kami belajar tentang pelbagai cara untuk melakukan pengujian pada kita punya software. Mungkin anda nampak macam tak penting ataupun macam tak adalah nampak kompleks. Tapi software testing sangat penting, especially when you are going to create Um, perisian yang berguna pada masyarakat bayangkan lah, kalau kita ada kereta dan kalau kita tak uji kereta kita dengan pelbagai um, situasi ataupun cara kita punya kereta tu tak akan berfungsi sangat sebab kereta tu akan pergi ke macam-macam tempat macam-macam jalan dan kita kena make sure yang kita punya kereta ataupun tak kisahlah apa-apa produk yang kita buat boleh berfungsi sepanjang masa so but there's this one incident um, where it's a one of the famous incident yang happen because of code and why the code is not working is Apollo 11. Essentially, it was happening when the spacecraft ataupun Apollo 11 tu macam nak land ke atas bulan. Um, they got this error called 1202 and masa tu semua orang programmer, scientists yang was working on the project doesn't understand what happened. Masa tu tengah nak land tau and tiba ada satu error yang berlaku yang mereka tak tahu. So, there's a lot of things happen but Alhamdulillah, it works. Kalau boleh, bila kita buat satu perkara yang boleh menyebabkan keselamatan orang lain, we need to make sure that we always make sure we test it rigorously to make sure everything goes well. That's the idea for this module, is to learn a lot of the bagai cara untuk melakukan software testing. Which is really cool, because if you're planning to become a software engineer, belajar tentang software testing sangat penting, sebab you're going to develop software yang orang akan guna. And we want to make sure that it is useful and berfungsi pada sepul masa lah. Okay, let's talk about this third module. Now, in my defense, System Design Project is one of the most fun. If there's not thing happen much more than that, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with because it's because I learn a lot, but there's a lot of things that's happening throughout the module that I don't, you know, to give you an idea what is happening, what, what System Design Project is, it's actually a semester long project where I'm being placed in a group. So it's a group project for 12 weeks, which is pretty long. We need to build a prototype, a robotic prototype under the theme called assistive robotics. Um, maksudnya macam kita kena bina satu robotik yang membantu orang lah masyarakat. So boleh pilih macam-macam. So for my team, kami membina satu robot untuk mengutip bola pingpong dekat atas lantai. Don't, jangan jangan fikir macam bersimpel. Hanya tak simple langsung. We spend a lot of time trying to make it work. Okay, hear me out. Imagine. Okay, one of the things yang pelajar universiti takut adalah group project sebab, you know, sometimes we have a very competent teammate, teammate yang sangat bagus yang buat kerja, which is something kita nak. Ada teammate yang buat kerja uh, with the minimum requirement, which is good, at least dia buat kerja. Dan benda yang kita paling takut adalah teammate yang tak buat apa-apa atau buat benda yang sangat simple, lepas tu tiba-tiba dia hilang. I have one or two of them in my team and imagine teammate saya ada seramai sembilan orang. And one more, I was appointed as the project manager. Now, now, um, I was not actually appointed. I was kind of volunteered first. But macam, oh, macam seronoknya belajar macam jadi project manager. But yeah, 
imagine nine people you need to actually handle uh, to make sure that everything goes well making sure every milestone your target you know capai before we go into those aspects saya nak cakap pasal saya punya robot dulu sebab robot saya memang macam agak cool dan saya want nak cerita juga so kalau anda tengok gambar ni macam agak kompleks macam wow ada banyak benda yang berlaku dekat sini tapi jangan risau um, essentially we can divide this robot robot into three main components kita ada computer vision kita ada navigation dan kita juga ada mechanism of grabbing and collecting the ping pong balls so untuk computer vision adalah digunakan di mana kita ingin identify bahawa adakah objek itu bola pingpong atau tidak so kalau dia dia bukan bola pingpong kita tak akan ambil kalau dia bola pingpong kita akan pergi dan ambil dan kita juga ada navigation so sebabkan kita punya robot akan bergerak di satu ruang so kita nak make sure yang robot ni boleh bergerak dan elak apa-apa obstacle yang ada di hadapan dan yang ketiga adalah mekanisme untuk actually grabbing and storing the ball so kita ada macam ada kalau anda perasa kat depan tu macam ada claw kan so dia akan grab akan masuk dalam kumpang kat dalam and dia akan ada screw yang akan bawa bola tu ke atas and then akan bawa ke dalam basket tu lah now we have talk about the technical side let's talk about the hardware sebab saya ni sebab saya tak pernah buat apa-apa projek dengan hardware saya sendiri and lepas habis system design project ni lebih lah saya macam tak nak work with hardware at all I'll tell you sorry so masa so we have three demo and we have one more what we call as industry day so during industry day di mana kita kena It's it's our final day and kita kena present dekat bukannya present kepada lecturer dekat universiti kita juga kena present kepada orang-orang luar seperti Bloomberg, GitHub and some from Amazon and Microsoft. So wakil-wakil datang and tengok kita punya project. And bayangkan hari tu pagi tu juga robot tu dah dia tak bergerak. Dia tak berfungsi langsung. Sebab kenapa? Sebab one of our our motor board which is one of our board yang berfungsi untuk menggerakkan motor kita orang terbakar that morning kita tak nak tukar dah sebab bila kita sebab nak tukar suatu perkara dalam robot tu kita kena buka semua benda tukar semua benda and then kita kena assemble balik which is going to consume almost a whole day so masa presentation tu kita orang just tunjuk robot tu and then kita terpaksa tunjuk video sebabkan kita punya robot dah rosak You know, when we are presenting something, we prefer something that is live sebab tu macam buktikan, oh, dia berfungsi. Tapi sekarang ni tak nak, tak boleh nak tunjuk benda tu. Video je. So, macam, you know, we don't get the the thing that we have in mind which is kind of a bummer but it is what it is. Um, tapi yang penting dah habis. Tapi ingat, jangan rasa tak bersemangat kalau anda berminat hardware sebab saya personally tak suka sebabkan saya punya pengalaman dengan hardware sangat-sangat tak tak cantik tapi kalau anda minat hardware teruskan saya tak menghalang cuma inilah antara masalah-masalah yang akan anda hadapi bila anda melakukan hardware ok itu saja saya tak nak cakap banyak pasal teknikal sebab tak menarik pun teknikal aspects dia um, you can DM me if you want to know more I can make like an hour long video just about talking about the technical aspects of the robot but I want to talk about the management side of working with nine different sets of people that I never met before and having some liabilities throughout the way. Dalam semester, dalam modul ni memang bila anda bekerja di luar nanti anda memang akan bekerja dengan orang and belajar untuk bekerja dengan orang sangat-sangat penting sebagai seorang software engineer because you're not going to build a software products on your own. You're going to building it with um, a, a team, right? So macam benda yang saya sangat bela banyak belajar adalah tentang project management, teamwork, team composition, essentially all the soft skills aspects of being a software engineer. Okay, I'm going to stop ranting about software design project now because it's a pretty crazy module which I learned a lot and I hate it a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much what happened to my semester. But now I am free and now I'm going to have my summer holiday so I have a lot of time to do more YouTube videos. So see you guys on next one. Assalamualaikum and bye.